Let's take a closer look at your tongue and examine the science behind how we are able to taste. It is commonly known that our taste sensations are grouped into sweetness, sourness, bitterness, saltiness, and umami. These sensations become apparent when receptors on the surface of your taste bud cells are activated by the molecules in the food you are eating. This will stimulate nerve fibers to fire an action potentially causing your brain to generate the experience of taste. But what causes the sensation of spiciness and why is it not categorized in the five basic taste groups? Welcome back to Curiosity 180 and let's talk about it. A signal is sent to your brain indicating the presence of a spicy stimulus and thus this produces the burning and spiciness sensations associated with spicy food. A good technique to relieve the spiciness is to drink milk because the protein in the milk will help break the bond between capsaicin and the VR1 receptors. On the other hand, it is common to drink water while eating something spicy, but this doesn't do anything to relieve the spiciness. In fact, it can make the spiciness even worse. This is due to the fact that capsaicin is insoluble in water and thus all you are doing is essentially spreading the spiciness around your entire mouth instead of removing it. But here's the strange part. VR1 receptors are not designed to detect capsaicin. VR1 receptors are actually heat and pain receptors. Normally these receptors are only activated when exposed to temperatures that are greater than approximately 42 degrees Celsius. So capsaicin is essentially tricking your VR1 receptors into believing that there is something hot in your mouth. This then gives a burning sensation and triggers the physical events associated with heat such as sweating or redness. So next time you torture your taste buds with spicy foods, just remember, if it burns going in, it's probably going to burn coming out. Thank you so much for tuning in to Curiosity 180. Make sure to subscribe, comment, like, share, all that awesome stuff. And if you've got suggestions for future episodes, leave them in the comments below. 